Hallelujah. Amen. The title of our message this morning said, Have you decided where to stand eternity? Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. For the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15, Therefore, I have died for all, for you, for I, for we that are live, not live for ourselves, but live for him that died for us and rose again. Hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 15. So, beloved brothers and sisters, who are you living for? The Lord is asking you and I this hour, who am I living for? That he has died for me, died for you, and died for every one of us. For we that live not to live for ourselves, but to live for him that has died and rose the day for us. But I tell you, if you are still living for yourself, we are not living to please the Lord. That means we have decided that we will spend eternity in hell. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So my brothers and sisters, where have you decided to spend eternity? How are you living your life? The Lord is asking you and her, how am I living my life? How are you living your life? How are we living our life? Because if we decide to live for ourselves, then we have decided to spend eternity in hell. But if we live for Christ that died for us and rose again, then we have also decided that we will spend eternity, eternal life in heaven. So, we have you decided to spend eternity, brother and sister. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, now you might ask yourself, why must I live for him? I tell you, the Bible says in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20, I have been crucified. I have died. I am no longer willing, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in flesh, I live it by faith for the Son of God who died and rose again for me, who loved me and gave himself for me. Brothers and sisters, are you dead for Christ? Are you being crucified? I tell you, without you being crucified, you cannot live the flesh alone. Without you dead in Christ, and let Christ take over you. But I tell you, you will still continue living for yourself. But I tell you, if you are living for yourself, then you are determined you will spend eternity in hell. Because Christ will not have time for anyone that lives for himself on the last day. Unless we have decided to live to please the Lord. If we refuse to live the life that please God, then we decide to spend eternity in hell. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So we must die in Christ. We must die and be buried in Christ. We must allow Christ to take control over our life. We must allow Christ to take control, to be in charge in everything we must do because we are being what? Crucified. Galatians 2 20. We are being crucified, meaning you are being dead. We are being totally dead in Christ. We are no longer living, but Christ lives in us. That means you are Christ lives in you, then Christ take over. He not become the one in charge. But if you are still living the life that is not pleasing him, that means you are not yet dead in Christ. You are still, your death is still trouble, it's a fabricated one, it's not a fruitful one. You are not yet totally dead. You are still living for yourself. But I tell you, if you end up, if a man died in that way, you will end up in spending all the rest of your life in hell. So, beloved brothers and sisters, we have you decided to spend eternity. The question still remains. You must think of what you need to do now. You must decide today where you will spend eternity. If it is hell or heaven. The decision remains in your hands. I cannot decide for you. You cannot decide for me. We cannot decide for anyone. Nobody, Christ cannot decide even for you. Only you need to decide where you want to go. Hallelujah. Because if Christ might decide for you, if he might tell Christ has told us from the beginning that heaven is our home. That is where he made for us. Can never be where he created for us. God used all his hunger to create hell because of what Satan did to him in time past. But today, 
the children that he created. We have decided to go and join Satan. But I tell you, God will not go and decide to take anyone there. Because it's where you decided to spend eternity. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 3 to 5, my beloved brothers and sisters, that if we die, now look at this. When you are being crucified in Christ, when you die, your life is in the hands of Christ God. You cannot die. Your life, meaning your soul, your soul is still in the hands of God. Christ in God. When the one that holds the life, that holds the life, it gets to you and I appear. If you appear in glory, we also will meet him in glory. But I tell you, verse 5, the Bible says, Therefore, put to death now all your members which are on this earth, fornication, adulterance, hatred, poison, evil, poison, evil desire, conversation, and idolatry. Hatred of bitterness, jealousy in our heart. They are all evil thoughts before God. So, beloved brothers and sisters, under the sound of my voice this morning, I ask us, we are, are we decided to spend eternity? If you have decided to stay, hatred and jealousy, bitterness and happy, pride will be the one you will be eating every day. But I tell you, no problem, you have decided to spend eternity in hell. Nobody will hesitate to draw you back. Satan is welcoming you. He will open the door for you so bad to enter. So let us begin to test our heart. Where are we going to spend eternity right now? Because I tell you, there is no time. There is no time no more. The time we have is already running out. The time Christ has for us is running out. He demands righteousness and holiness in every life right now. But I tell you, many are still busy in hatred and bitterness and jealousy in their heart every day. Thinking is like they don't even hear what the Lord is saying all over the world. Mm. They don't even get the message. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. So, my beloved brothers and sisters, this is what the Lord is telling you and I this morning. We must be ready to take away this member, the member of this of this world, fornication and adultery. Are you still womanizing? Are you still fornicating? Are you still adultery? Are you still doing evil? Are you still running to evil? Are you still falling back to the world? I tell you, it's time for you to take them away and decide where you will spend the time in things. There is no more time. There is no more time for you and I. Christ has waited too much time for you and I. He said enough is enough. Mm. Enough is enough. It's time for we to decide where we will spend the time in whether hell or heaven. There is no problem. The door is open to receive us. I have decided to follow Jesus. But I don't know of you. I have decided because I am debtor to Jesus Christ already. Because I have no other place to go other heaven. What about you, brother? What about you, sister? Where have you decided to spend your eternity? Is it hell or heaven? But I tell you, wherever you decide to go, the door is open to receive you. No problem. Hallelujah. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Bible says in First Corinthians chapter 15, verse number 19, 19. Look at what the Bible is telling you and I, my beloved brother. First Corinthians 15, verse 19. If in this life only you have hope in Christ, you have all men so miserable. Oh, so pitiable. That on the last day, when the Lord will receive somebody going to hell, he will stop this pity for you because he never created death for you and her. You will stop this pity for you and her. Anyone that will go to her, he will stop this pity for you. He will stop look at you and so miserable because he never created hell for you and her. Why must you decide to go there? So, beloved. Let us decide where we will spend eternity now. Now, now, now. Now, right now. Not tomorrow. Now I tell you, meaning, if in this world only you have hope in Christ, you are all men so miserable. If only you have life, you have reward. 
You have reward. You are my head only. I tell you, the Bible is telling us you are living a hopeless life. Because there is still hope after here. The highest hope and reward is in heaven. If we don't have that reward, we are living a hopeless life. So, beloved brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling you and that many, if in this world only we have reward, we are alive. We are living a hopeless life. That does not please God. The life that does not please God. But after this reward, after this reward of this earth, we also have a reward in heaven. But if you don't have that reward in heaven, you live a hopeless life. I live a hopeless life. We all live a hopeless life. So, brothers and sisters, where have you decided to spend eternity? Have you decided to spend eternity here? Huh? No problem. You can go there. Nobody will hold you. Christ will not even decide to hold you. He will not even stop you. If here you decide, you will go. He's ready to throw you there. He's ready to throw anyone there. So, as we decide now, we, are, we will spend eternity. The question still remains. Because the Bible says in the book of John 20, 31, it says, the those are written to you. The those things are written to you and I. Believe in Jesus, the Son of God, that a believing you, believing him, you may have life in him. Bible is letting us to know we should believe in Jesus Christ. Don't believe in any first prophet, any man, any woman. Don't believe in any man. Believe in Christ alone. Because only through him you will have eternal life. Only him, only through him can give you everything you need. But some of us today, we are still believing in men. We are still believing in faith prophets. We are going to believe life more than true word of God. But I tell you, anyone that has believed in life, on the last day you are prepared, that means you are telling yourself you are prepared to go to spend eternity in hell. But if you believe in the true word of God and hold on to it, because the Bible has told us in John 8, 32, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you a nice prayer. Christ has told us already, and he will remind us in his word. And his word will begin to judge you and I on the last day. The truth I said you should know. Why do you run after the lies? So, for that reason, you have decided to spend eternity ahead. But if you believe the word of truth, that means you are telling Christ. You are believing in him. You are living the life of peace, God. Then you have decided to spend eternity in heaven. To spend eternal life in heaven. Mm -hmm. So, brothers and sisters, where you will decide to spend eternity is what you need to decide now. I have decided already, but I don't know of you. You also decide for yourself. Decide for yourself where you want to spend eternity. If it is hell or heaven, no problem. The door will be open for you to enter. Nobody will stop you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. In our brothers and sisters, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 10, Many of us today, we don't even know what Christ has done for us. We are still busy around, thinking that Christ has not done anything. But I tell you, the Bible says in Romans 8, 10, it says to us, and in Christ, in Christ is, is in you, if Christ is in you, the body is dead because of sin, that the spirit is alive because of righteousness. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. My beloved brothers and sisters, when you allow Christ to live in you, when you allow Christ to dwell in you, when you live for him that died for you, I tell you, the body of sin you carried before, that I carried, that we carried, is dead totally because of the righteousness that you allow to reign in your life, because of the life that pleased God that you are not allowed to live. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. So for that reason, Righteousness, we allow it to reign in our life. 
because we allow Christ that died and rose again for us. We are lying to live in us. We are no more living the life that pleased ourselves. We are not living the life that pleased God because He said He has died for us. For we to live for Him, we that are living, you are not still alive. Many of us are still alive. We are still busy wasting our time to live for the world, not to live for Him that died for you, not to live the life that pleased God. We are still living the life that pleased ourselves. Some of us are even living the life that pleased our, their husbands. Many women are living to please their husbands. My husband likes me putting on trousers. No problem. Then you have decided to spend eternity in hell. On the last day, the Christ will remind you. No problem. Go with your husband and spend eternity in hell. My husband loves me making up, putting on makeup. You see, many women are living for their husband. Instead of them to live the life that pleases God, they are living the life that pleases their husband. But I tell you, there is no problem about it. Whatever you decide to do is from your heart. No problem. Then you are also decide, know from today, that whatever you do from today, whatever I do, whatever we do, that does not please God, we have already decided in our heart we will spend eternity in hell. Know it from today. But if you say we are live the life that pleased God and keep righteousness and holiness for him, I tell you, nothing know from today that you in your heart you have decided to spend eternity, eternal life in heaven. I tell you, there is no great place than a start in heaven. So I believe somebody will choose heaven. But if you did decide to choose hell, <laughs> Many are be dead. <laughs> Christ cannot stop them not to enter there. <laughs> so it will not stop you and I if we still decide to go there. <laughs> it will still allow us to go there. But please let us decide where we will spend it today. Where we will spend eternity. It matters a lot because there is no time. Anybody can die anytime. Mm. Death is not a thing that one will be afraid of. There's no problem in dying. That is not a problem. That is not a problem. The problem is if you die, where are you going to? That is the problem. That is where the problem lies. Anybody can die. But the question is, where is he going to? Have you lived the life that pleased God? Have you lived for him that died for him and not again? If not, <laughs> he has decided to spend eternity in hell. But if you live the life that pleased God, also you have just decided to live eternal life in heaven. So let us be careful not to decide to go and spend eternity in condemnation in hellfire. Because that place has never been meant for you and I. You have never been meant for the children of God. He was only meant for Satan. Because I tell you, do you know why? The Lord will not all the hunger that is still of God right now. On the last day, when the last enemy, which is death, the Bible says, death. Who is that death? Satan. When he will be destroyed, God will pull all the remaining hunger upon Satan. The hunger God still has now. He will remove all of them, the last one on the last day, upon Satan and all that go with him in hell. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us not go there. There is never meant for you and I. Let us not decide to spend our life there. It is never meant for you and I. Let us decide now to spend our eternal life in heaven. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Job, in Jude chapter 1 verse 20, my beloved brothers and sisters, I tell you, he says, keep yourself in the love of God. In the love of God. So please him. And look for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ. So take to eternity. So take you to eternity. So take me to eternity. So take us to eternity. Praise Master Jesus. For many of us are still look, we are still living our lives the way we like. We are still living the life we like. 
We are still living the way it pleases God, not the way it pleases God. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. But I tell you, the Bible is telling you and I, we should keep ourselves away from our what? Keep ourselves for the love of God alone. To live the life that please God. We should keep ourselves for God alone. We should not keep ourselves for sin. We should not keep ourselves for fornication, adultery, hatred, and bitterness. Jealousy in our heart. He can condemn us and take us to hell. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. My beloved brothers and sisters, he said, keep yourself in the love of God to so live the life that please God. And let us be seeking for a mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that will take us to eternity. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. For many of us are still seeking. We are keeping ourselves for sin, seeking for Satan to take us to eternal condemnation. You have to run back now. If you are in that position, you have to run back. You have to run back now. Wherever you are be keeping yourself for, if you are not be keeping yourself to please God, you have to run back now because there is no time. Anybody can die. Rapture can take place as anybody can die. Rapture will not write a letter to you. So also death will not write a letter to you. If anyone dies now, you are already in judgment seat. If righteous take place, we are already in judgment seat. You say these two things do not bring a letter to anyone. They will not signal you. They will not signal you that they are coming. So, brothers and sisters, let us be very careful and know where we have decided to spend eternity. Because there is an eternal life, there is an eternal condemnation. Which one have you decided? Which one have we decided to spend the rest of our life? Wherever you decided, he left for you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Book of John, chapter 17. Verse 17 to 2 to 5. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says, the power will be given to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The power will be given to our God. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, and you have given authority over all flesh. The power will be given to Jesus Christ over all flesh. That to give eternal life to as many that are worth give their life to him. Do you see it? As many that give their life to Jesus Christ, the power will be given to him to bring us to the kingdom. As many that are still giving their life to them to you, the power will already be given to Satan to drive you to hell. So you have to know where you are trapping up. You have to know the decision you are making in your heart now. Because there is no time. I read on. And this is the eternal life. That they may know, they know you, the only true God, the, and Jesus Christ. Who has sent me? Who you have sent? Brothers and sisters, you shall know what? The eternal life. Who is the eternal life? Where does he lie? In the hands of God. The only true God and the Jesus Christ our Lord. That is mere eternity. Eternal life lies in the hands of our Father. It does not lie in the hands of Satan. Eternal condemnation lies in the hands of Satan. Satan is ready to condemn anyone. Because he knows he is Satan already be condemned forever. He has been condemned forever. So he's looking for people. To draw, to draw together, to take them along. He is only looking for people. That's why he's a lonely lion. He's seeking for people that will accompany him to eternal condemnation. Don't go. Don't let us go with him. He's only seeking for people who will follow him to hell. Who will go? Who will go when the last day, when God will be pouring the last hunger upon Satan? People will help him. People will join it to receive it. That is what he's doing there right now. My beloved brothers and sisters, quickly decide now where you will spend eternity. If it is hell or heaven, 
so that you know how you how you live your life that will please God. If your life you are living is not pleasing God, return now. We draw back. Satan is only seeking for you to accompany him to hell. You are not the accomplice of Satan. You are not his candidate. Why must you accompany him to hell? Hell is made for him. He's only looking for people to accompany him. So that there will be more people there. I tell you, a lot of people are even accompanying already for many past years now. Many people have joined him that they cannot return back again. You now, Jesus Christ is talking to you and I that he that died and rose again, we should live for him that died and rose again for now. So that we will not accomplish the time. We are still alive now. We are the one living now. We should live for him. Live the life that pleases God now. Let us live the life that pleases him. So that we will not accomplish the time only to us on the last day to hell. Because that place is not meant for you and I. And that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My beloved brothers and sisters, under the sound of my voice. The Bible says that I read on, verse 4, I have been glorified. I have been glorified. You on the earth have finished my work, which you have given to me. And now, O oh Father, glorify me together with yourself, with the glory which I have with you. Before the world was created, did you see? And our Father, Lord Jesus Christ, who is with his Father, all through, he has the glory because of you and her. He lived the glory, both on the cross. He pulled it up to come to die for you and her so that we will not accomplish it as your head. Many of you decided to go and spend eternal, eternal condemnation with Satan over there. Christ is not happy about it. Christ, Master Jesus, is yeah. not happy about it. So let us decide where we will spend eternity. Let us decide it. He has done a lot for us. He pulled away his glory. He pulled away his crown. Only to come and be a slave. Only to come and stop out and die. So that you and I will return back home. But we are still dwelling in sin. We are still living the life that are pleasing ourselves. Pleasing men. Pleasing our husband. Pleasing our wife. Pleasing pastors. Pleasing whatever bishop. But I tell you on the last day, Christ will also tell you to go and live. Wherever they go, that is where Christ will tell you to go. Wherever they decide to go, that is where you are decided to go. Wherever that prophet, that pastor, that bishop, that man, that husband, that wife, decide to go and spend eternal condemnation, that is where you also have decided to spend your eternity. So you should not live for any man. For that reason, let us stop living for anybody, but leave the Lord that please God alone. Praise Master Jesus. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 2, the last we are taking, for the Lord of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of the and death. Do you say? Christ has already free you and I. He has free you. He has freed me. He has freed us away from the Lord of sin and death that could have condemned us, that could have sent us to Satan, that could have made us to follow Satan to hell. The law of the Spirit, which has eternal life in Jesus Christ, is free us. He made us to be free. He gave us freedom. But we are still no one to be free. Many of us still don't want to be free. We have been decided that we will spend eternity in condemnation in hell. But I tell you, you have to return now. As far as you are still alive, there is still breath in you. You have to decide now where you will spend eternity, whether hell or heaven. You are not giving your life to Christ. You want to give your life to Christ now so that you can live the life of peace God. You have not known before that you are not living the life that pleased God. And only to you, you are going to decide to spend a time of condemnation in hell. Now that you have known, now that I have known, begin to decide now. If you will live the life that pleased God, come out now and give your life to Christ. Signify by saying, I am here. You are in your house. 
Nobody is with you. You are here to want to give your life to Christ. We have so many to do so. And we have still have another category of people. You have gave your life to Christ. Bitterness and jealousy are heavy. Is it flowing in your heart? I tell you, you are telling yourself you will go to hell. You are telling yourself I will, you will spend a time of condemnation in hell. You have to reconcile with Jesus now. You have to reconcile with Jesus. That is the number two category we have. Say that you can be able to live the life that pleases God. We have two minutes to do so. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Make your decision now. Decide now where you will spend eternity. Decide now. There is no time. One minute is gone. Decide now where you will spend eternity. Is there eternal life in heaven? Eternal condemnation in hell? Decide now. But I tell you, if you refuse, hatred of bitterness and heavy and jealousy in your heart, I tell you, if you like, on the last day, do you know what you are telling yourself? You are speaking for the real person in you. The real you is inside you, not the flesh you are carrying up and down. That flesh, I've already know it will not follow you to anywhere. But it will only help you to destroy your future. Your future, which is your soul. So, if you are living the life that are not the sleeping God, I tell you, you know what you do in the secret. I know what I do in the secret. I tell you, you are telling your soul that you will end up in hell on the last day. You are telling yourself, I have decided to join the devil. I have decided to save my eternity from the nature. That is what you are telling yourself. And nobody will stop you not to enter there. Nobody will stop you. No people Christ will stop you to enter there. He will open the door wide for you to enter. Because you we are you are decided to go there. So how many minutes is gone? Two minutes is gone. And I preserve every one of us on this market. We are living the life that is pleasing God. And we have decided to spend the eternal life in heaven. Not the eternal condemnation we have. And I pray this day. And the Lord will give us grace. The God of all grace will give us grace to run this way to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. As you have decided to spend your eternity in heaven with Jesus Christ, who has died and rose again for you and I, as we have decided, the Lord will strengthen us. He will empower us to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. May the Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless the man of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Brothers, we cannot hear it better than this. Anyone that have heard the sound of Christ, 